Right, so I got my material back here, my wood. I have three two by sixes by eight feet. I have four two by fours by eight feet. And then it's my little work table right now. I have the two by ten by 12 feet. Um, these will be the big side of the boat. And all this is just scrap from everything we've been working on over here on the little playground. So let's go ahead and get started and get these cuts done. All right, guys, so the original video and the original inspiration I got this from was from Anna White. So I'll put a link down below to her video and also her plans. Um, I did make changes and I started with the cuts. And so this is our cut list here. We are cutting our two by tens. We're just cutting 45 degrees at the end on both sides. Uh, we have two two by sixes at 48 inches long, four two by sixes at 45 inches long two two by fours at 45 inches long two two by fours at 72 inches long and then one two by four at 42 and a half inches long and the cut list is up here on the screen i'll also put it down below now you can use a handsaw for all of these cuts i did use a miter saw just because i already have one but you can definitely do all of these with just your regular handsaw so here's our two two by tens Two by sixes by 48. Here's our four two by sixes by 45. Here's our two two by fours by 45. And here's our two two by fours by 72. All right, All right, guys, sorry for the wind. We got our cuts done, and we're gonna try to set it up here in this level spot by the tree. This is where the little sandbox is gonna be. All right, guys, so we're gonna start with these four pieces. Um, this is the two long pieces with the 45 degree cuts and then the 49 inch pieces and we're gonna basically build the little frame of the boat right now all right guys so other tools that you're also gonna need tape measure square pencil a drill a circular saw and a drill bit set and of course your exterior screws all right so we took the 2 by 10 pieces and the 48 inch deck pieces and we used the three and a half inch screws to screw that deck piece onto the top part of the 2 by 10s All right, guys, and I just put one on this side so that we can adjust it over there if we need to. And on this part, I struggled a little bit at first by myself, so if you can get someone to help you out, um, it definitely helps. After the first couple screws, then we just went around and added more to secure it. All right, and next we flipped our boat upside down and we took the 45 inch pieces and these go inside. Um, underneath the deck board in between the 2x10 pieces. So here I am just measuring um, and fit wondering why one of my pieces was a little bit shorter and a little frustrated. Alright guys, so when I went to put the underside 2x6s that go right here, they're supposed to be 45 inches. They're about half an inch too short on each side, so an inch in total. And I don't know if that was the plans or that was just me <laughs> that I messed it up so to fix it I'm just gonna take the side pieces and scoot them in about half an inch on each side on all four sides and then these will fit in there snug so we went ahead and marked half an inch farther in on all four sides and then we took the screws out and just scooted it over half an inch um, not a big deal to me to have that little ledge sticking out half an inch right there. All right, after we got this fixed, we went ahead and just put the screws back and moved all of them. And then we flipped our boat back over and then we took our 45 inch pieces and set them between the two by tens. And I'm just using the hammer here to tap it into place and then just putting three of the three and a half inch screws into the side. Alright, and then you take the second 45 inch piece and you do the same and it'll align evenly with the bottom of the 2x10. Right. 
and we went ahead and did the other side as well doing exactly the same steps using our hammer to put it in place and then just drilling it with the three inch screws and I said three and a half inch screws I'm actually using three inch screws guys sorry about that but you can use three and a half inch screws as well So we got our first, the two by six by 45 inch pieces in, right? And originally we called for a two by four. So, sorry, these are two by sixes and originally it called for a two by four right here to finish this off. But since we used two by tens instead of two by twelves, we don't have that extra two inches where this would have gone right there. So what I'm gonna do is instead of using it right here, I'm gonna cross brace over there to make the frame a little bit sturdier since it is a little bit longer. And I'm gonna do that about two feet out that way and two feet from the other side as well. So we're still gonna use the exact same pieces. We're just gonna use them in a little bit of a different area. All right, again, so we are using our two by four by 45 inch pieces and we set them out, I believe about two feet from the edge on each side we put one on each side just to make the frame a little bit sturdier and then we flipped our frame back over to the right side all right and here's our frame this is the sailboat outside frame as you can see those two by fours right there are the ones we just put in all right guys so there's our frame now we're just going to add the mast and the cross beam this is the mast these are the 72 inch pieces I measured six feet from the end over here. Six feet, that's exactly the middle of my boat. And then I measured the middle of the two by four, which is one and three fourths. And then I'm just gonna line up the two marks. So I have a mark here, and then I have a mark here. And I'm just putting five screws into the mask to hold it up. This is our 42 and a half inch piece and I did it was 42 inches and I did 42 and a half a little bit just because my uh, two by fours for the mask were a little bit wide so I gave it half an inch extra and you can also use a dowel for this but I just used an extra piece of two by four that I had from the other part of the playground that we fixed up. I'm just adding some more screws. All right, guys, there's our frame. Check it out. Um, tomorrow, I'll pick up the fabric. And then I had these little leftover cutoffs from the other playground area. I think I'm going to add some extra little bench seating on the side. It's for multiple kids at once. I think I'm going to add a little bit of extra seating. So let's go ahead and get that on there. Right, guys. And these are the last uh, pieces that were on the materials list. This is a one by six by eight and a one by, I mean, excuse me, a two by four by eight. And we just cut them down into two foot pieces to use as a little bench. Again, these are scraps that I had left over from the other thing. I added them on the material list so that you guys could um, add them to your playground if you wanted to to your sandbox and I would just do two foot lengths 
so you could get four out of one piece of one by six and four two foot sections out of one piece of two by four. All right, guys, we're done. All right, so what I did was with that first one over here, um, I just put it on there. I didn't measure anything. And then I just measured the distance between this distance between this board and the first one right here and just did them all the same so they would all look even. But there it is. It's ready for the fabric. All right, and so tomorrow we'll pick up the fabric and get it over here and it'll look like a sail and so that's the basic easy to do I built this and I started what after lunch so from 12 so about like four hours it's almost four and I had to go to the store and I'm recording so that slows everything down so you could probably do this once you have the materials and everything you can knock this out probably in a couple hours Alright guys, thanks for watching and in the next video I'll show you guys how I made the sail and also when we put the sand in the sandbox and I'll let you know if Chica approves of the sandbox.